Anywho, let's talk about it. Morrow will now start meeting with writers to hear pitches for their X Men movies. Shoot, let me uh, I pitched the like hey, this is the episode. I pitched the next uh X Men movie. Here it go. The X Men movie is not an X Men movie. Give me the main. Give me the main. The X Men movie is a HBO style Disney Plus exclusive series. Eight episodes. We flesh out that world completely on some like House of Dragons type, right? I don't think it is smart. Me personally, but I'm just the audience. I don't think it's smart to smush all like even five characters. Five main characters, basically, into one film, and they share that space. Now, if you have a writer, and I'm talking about a writer, not one of these little bums out here, somebody who really put the pen to paper to really make that jump, look, Chef Kisses, that's one thing. But, bro, it's Disney. Disney is fast production, fast production. I think they need to hire whoever be producing those Game of Thrones a series and tell them, hey, we got a whole Fox uh, franchise that you can pull for in t- terms of the X Men, and we want a uh, HBO level quality series that CGI is movie level. Like then, when they do actually cross paths in the movie, when it comes to Avengers versus X Men, because that's bound to happen. Like you're not just gonna do the Secret Wars and it's a wrap. You're going to start doing more stuff. It's more investment. Like, imagine if we was waiting. Like, imagine it was an X-Men series. We already baked into understanding the X-Men via show due to the cartoons we used to watch back in the day. So, why the heck are we trying to make it? Like, that's the quick buck. But put more time into it, Marvel. And, like, have it fleshed out. Think about an episode that follows Storm. Think about an episode that follows uh, Gambit and Rogue and stuff like that. Like, all those stories. And then the the last three episodes is, like, Apocalypse or something like that. Or Magneto really wilding out or something like that. I think that is more compelling than trying to put a whole comic, like, eight series, eight issue comic book arc into one movie, bro. Like, no. Them days are done, dog. It's too much content out here to be rushing stuff. Like, this is pristine. Like, bro, before it was Iron Man and Captain Marvel and freaking Miss Marvel, all of that junk, bro. Everybody was rocking with X-Men. And I think the only reason X-Men, quote unquote, fell off is because Marvel, they literally forced the characters to be trashed due to the fact that they pulled... They, like, basically stopped the comic book pressing of X-Men and started pumping out all of this uh, Avengers. That's why Secret Wars came out, um, the Incursion. All those characters, it was like, bro, I'm not stupid. we probably have to dive deep one day on it. But, like, this, bro, this is just classic. This is nostalgia. Like, bro, focus on this, dog. Look at all these characters. You're trying to put all... This is, like, bro... That's why I'm still waiting for the show. Like, they got an X-Men 97 coming out. We're going to see how that goes, but I don't think that junk going to be too good. They even changed the art style of it. It's not even going to be 2, 2D anymore. It's going to be, like, this animated 3D version. It's it's going to look somewhat like What If, to my knowledge. Last time I checked it out, but maybe on another stream, I'll look into it. But, yeah, man, give us an X-Men series, dog. We ain't trying to, like, we ain't trying to... I don't want to risk a, another bad movie, dog. No, what are you waiting for? Do, do it! it! Make your dreams don't come true! Dreams Just do it!